What if you were fishing a big bass tournament and knew where the winning fish was? What if it was a hundred thousand dollar bass? What if you caught it twice and it was foul hooked both times? And lastly, what if someone who was fishing a dock caught that bass? What would you do? That's what we're going to talk about right now. So if you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. So the following is a true story. Just recently at the Big Bass Bash on Lake of the Ozarks, they had a two-day tournament for a $100,000 Big Bass. Now here is the story. Chris Larkins, and I'm going to try to read it. Chris Larkins found an almost eight-pound fish and knew it was the winning fish. And this fish was bigger than any caught in over a decade. And story goes, Larkin and his son found this bass on the shoreline and fished for it for two hours on Saturday. Out of nowhere, he set the hook, reeled it in, and they netted it. Larkin's son said, Dad, it's hooked outside of the mouth. And Chris knew the rules and knew that he would be polygraphed at the end of the tournament. Also knew that hooking it outside of the mouth was illegal. But they weighed the fish, found out it was 7.98 pounds, and then released it. Also took a photo. And the father and son team decided to go on fishing. They came back 90 minutes later and started fishing for that big bass again because they knew it was a hundred thousand dollar fish and in this case that's life-changing for most people so they spent a significant amount of time trying to re-catch this fish and these guys were determined to do it and amazingly the fish bit again but again it was foul hooked and they released it they knew they had one more day left on sunday so they made arrangements and thought about their game plan to come back on sunday to try to fish for this exact fish. But at this point in time, they noticed a couple guys sitting on a dock that were anglers. And they went over and talked to them and said, look, guys, this fish right here is a $100,000 fish. I could win this tournament. Could you make sure you don't catch it? Now these guys shook hands and Chris was reassured that they were gonna leave this fish alone and also not to tell anybody about it. But Chris got home, looked on Facebook, face crack as I like to call it, and saw something very disturbing. We caught a 7.9 pound bass off our dock in two feet of water. So Sunday morning they went back out and trolled around for an hour or so looking for this fish. Then he saw one of the dock owners and Larkin went over and talked to him. Larkin said he went over and talked to the, uh, the dock owner and also said, I saw your post on Facebook. Larkin said to the angler, don't tell me you filleted it. And he goes, well, I didn't fillet it but my buddy did. This is one of those fish of a lifetime for these guys. And while it's his right to go fish and to catch it, or his buddy to fillet it, it's something that all anglers in our stomachs are just going crazy about, especially if you give the person your word that you're not gonna fish it. But what do you do at that point in time? Obviously, Chris and his son went back to fishing and tried to find another fish. But as he said, this was really a fish of a lifetime for them on Lake of the Ozarks. Not to mention one that could have won them a hundred grand. But where do you go from there? Does that just change everything? And what does it do to say someone that's going to go out there and lie to your face and then go catch the fish and then release it in Greece? It's one of those things that's just really hard to imagine, but it does happen. But an almost eight pound fish, that's kind of ridiculous. So I wanted to share just a good, not really the best story, but something that's a little bit different than all the cheating and negative stuff. Still find this kind of negative, but it was still a different story that we don't see online. So tell me what you think about the angler and the dock guys. What should happen? Should we let, should be anglers be a little bit smarter? and know that a fish that big is a population of fish that's going that's just been wrecked for years. Fish like that is a once of a lifetime fish for someone up there. But tell me in the comments below. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.